Folks, we got the man himself here, Coach Heffernan. You guys got a win today against St. Paris Graham. Give me a little bit of the rundown of what happened today. Um, the whole theme of the week in practice was be aggressive and score points and don't waste time. And I think the kids did a pretty good job of that today. So it's, you know, it's January 7th. Yeah. We're building toward March, but you know, this is all part of the process. We kind of train, we train just that cycle-wise training hard. We, we're gonna train hard in practice the next couple of weeks. Yeah. But I think the kids are really, really aggressive, and that's what we wanted today. St. Paris Graham's a, you know, they're ranked number one in the state in Division Two, and they're, you know, they have some good kids, and our kids really wrestled well today. At Fifty-three to nine. I yeah. mean, that's that's you guys put up the points early. I gave up a couple. I mean, but that's you know, they're they're a tough team. They've always been tough. Yeah, right. You know, you guys, uh, you guys took some licks over in Indiana, and then at Power Eighty. But you guys, you guys had play, you had some placers. Adam Butler, you know, yeah. Bennett, you guys, and Cade. Even, you know. We had a bunch of guys in, in, in Powerade win four or five matches, not place. They got a lot of a lot of matches, a lot of experience against good guys. We beat a lot of like, nationally ranked. I don't really look at the rankings very much. I right. don't believe in rankings very much. But you know, some of these guys that were really highly ranked nationally, we beat some of these guys. And our kids, and we just tell them, you know, it really doesn't matter because when six minutes and kids get pushed, especially the good kids when you wrestle good kids, get they don't like to get pushed. Right. We got to push the pace six minutes against, you know, especially the better kids. They don't like it. You've always pre you've always preached that, and you've always, you know, I learned myself, uh, you know, from you watching. You can you can watch or you can feel the opponent that you're wrestling break while Absolutely, you're wrestling yeah. them. Absolutely. That's something that you know that this room and this atmosphere it creates here at St. Edward. So how how do you get guys to you know perform at that level to get to break an opponent? You know, here in this room and also you know out there on the mat. Well, it's it's a. Uh... You know, we still got a couple guys that need to get in better shape from, from other, you know, they're coming off of football and some other things. And, and, and it's practice, it's, it's the how hard you go in practice translates to out there. So, you know, I always tell the guys, I'm not a, uh, I'm going to tell you guys what to do in practice, but you determine how hard you're going to go, and it's going to show out there. Absolutely. And so, the guys, you know, we, we make everything we do at competitive in practice, whether it be wind sprints, whether it be, Push-ups, whether it be wrestling one-minute goals, wrestling ten-minute goals, everything we do is competitive. We got to try to win every everything we do in here. Absolutely. That kind of translates out there. Yeah. So next is Detroit Central Catholic. Um, they're they're a top ranked well, we team. We wrestle every good team in Michigan. We wrestle Detroit Central Catholic, Davison, Dundee, and uh, I think we're wrestling this team from Indiana, Center Point or something like that. Okay. They're all nationally ranked. Uh, it's four big duels next week and. You know, we don't have a senior right now. We're wrestling. I think today we had eight or nine sophomores. We had three freshmen and a couple of juniors wrestling for us. And, that's impressive. And uh, you know, that's our team right now. And it might change later on, but right now that's our team. And we're next guy up, and we're not going to use excuses for anybody not wrestling. And our young guys, I believe in them. They, you know, they're going to believe, and this is how they're going to get better. By the end of the year, the goal for them is to, you know, all be on the state podium. Absolutely, 14 placers. 14 placers. I don't think it's ever been done. And it's something we strive for every year. And even though we got, you know, well, I think 2000, yeah. yeah, 2007 was the first year that uh, took 14 to took state. 14 to state. We so. had one guy that didn't. We had 13 placers. Yeah, we almost had that. that we year. almost had it. And, yeah. Uh, so that's a goal. It's always been a goal of St. Ed's to do it. Um, you know, hopefully we can get it done at some point. But uh, you know, it's our striving practice to keep going. Yeah. What's it like, you know, seeing wrestlers like Sean Harris, Ben Kuhar come back, you know, to to come watch and support. You know, it's they awesome. were on a good team themselves. Right. They were on a great team. So were you on that team too. Um, yeah, I mean, it's. I want to make them proud. And I told our kids that, you know, um, our legacy is what they've done. It's not what you've done. So they can't take anything for granted. They're not entitled to any of this stuff. They have to prove themselves every year. So these other guys can come back and they can talk about how good they were and what they did. You guys can't talk about what we did. We got to talk about what we're gonna do. Yeah, absolutely. And they got to. They got to. They got to perform. And, and, and I love these old guys came back and watching some of these guys come in and talk to our guys. It's pretty cool. That's absolutely. I mean, that's one of the most important things is seeing how many guys. Come. When you see people coming back, you know that you you've done something right here at this program, or the school has done something and impacted their life that they're coming back here and at least you know watching or giving back in some way. Right. Absolutely, so. Yeah. You know, Coach Huff, I'm glad I got to catch up with you today for an interview. You know, I'll be following you guys the rest of the year. Best of luck. Um, and right, when, thanks. Is, thanks for you do for wrestling. I appreciate it.